It's Steve Schmidt, the former senior strategist for the McCain-Palin campaign in 2008. He's known MSNBC political analyst. Steve, thanks for being here. Great. Good to be with you, Rachel. You know, I, when you line up all of the different um, off-message things that Mitt Romney's endorsers have said, often very close to the time that they were getting press attention for endorsing him, when you line them all up next to each other, it seems like a problem. Am I making a problem where there isn't one, though? Is this the sort of thing that happens all the time? You're kind of making a problem where there isn't one. <laughs> Look, this is, a, this is a good week for Mitt Romney. You see the establishment of the Republican Party is now coming to acceptance that he's going to be the nominee of the party. I think it makes the Gingrich effort, the Santorum effort, look increasingly detached from reality. So he's in the final stages of wrapping this up. It's been a long contest, hard contest. You know, it's drained the support levels in the middle of the electorate from all of the Republican candidates. But we're starting to get into that transition part of the race now. So all in all, it's been a good week for Mitt Romney. In terms of, of the endorsement questions, though, it has been interesting to watch um, former First Lady Bush um, former President Bush, uh, the senior, um, Jeb Bush, uh, also Jeb Bush's son, for that matter, all endorsing Mitt Romney, all implicitly raising the question of whether there will be a George W. Bush endorsement. That that was made um, explicit by um, the senior President Bush in that photo op with Mitt Romney in a way that made everybody very visibly uncomfortable. How much does the question of the George W. Bush endorsement loom at this point? Well, I, I don't think it's a, I, I think it's certainly in a Republican primary, President Bush is highly regarded and, 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 and thought of it. Uh, it won't be a factor in the general election. The record that's going to be front and center in this election is not President Bush's, it's President Obama's. But, you know, certainly if he endorses in a Republican primary, it's very helpful to Mitt Romney. I suspect as Mitt Romney gets to the next stage of closeness, to wrapping this up, you'll ultimately see President uh, George W. Bush weigh in as well. You really and think that would be a good day for you, Mitt Romney? You really think that wouldn't have a, a downside? I mean, one of the things we're going to be talking over later in the show is is Mitt Romney seeming to try to pivot to attacking President Obama on foreign policy. It seems to me like a huge liability for Mr. Romney that he's got as all of his foreign policy advisors all these George W. Bush foreign policy guys. That seems to me like the sort of thing that you'd be embarrassed for somebody to point out. Do you really think it wouldn't have a negative effect, even in the general? Look, I, I think there was a poll out last week that showed the former president's approval numbers have come up to about one-to-one, -one, even between favorable and unfavorable. He's been out of the public eye for four years. People tend to, as they look at former presidents, they rise in esteem as time passes between they're out of office. It was obviously a contentious momentous period of history that he served in with a, with a lot of division in the country. But look, elections are always about the future, not the past. And I don't think we're going to have an argument about the term of the 43rd president of the United States. I think the argument's going to be around the term of the 44th president of the United States and, and what we do going forward from here. Steve, so I, I, I just don't think it's going to be a big deal in the in the political calculus of this election. Steve, you can talk me into a lot of things about the Republican way of looking about politics. I have learned a lot from you. But the idea that it's going to be a good day when George W. Bush endorses Mitt Romney, that I finally found a thing on which you and I are living in totally <laughs> opposite universes and can't see the, can't see the same facts the same way. Uh, will you come back the day that happens and we can talk about it? Absolutely. And it will happen. And it will be a good day for Mitt Romney in this election. And it'll be one of those days when we realize it, there really are two different, two different Americas, or two different ways of seeing these things. <laughs> MSNBC political analyst Steve Schmidt, thanks for your time tonight, Steve. Really appreciate it. Good to see you, Rachel. All right.